Hi, welcome to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCourt. Today I have a question from Erin, so I'll read what she says here. She goes, Hi, Cyber Sue. I'm a 45 year old woman who feels invisible when it comes to dating. I get the odd message here and there, but nothing ever gets past a few texts. I'm fairly attractive and in average shape. I have a great job, so I'm not looking for a sugar daddy. What gives? What's going on out there? Thanks for writing, Erin. This is a really good question. This is affecting so many people now because people are getting divorced at all different ages now or they're not getting married till much later as well. So there's a lot of people that are single. It's not just men, it's not just women. There's actually a great number of single, frustrated people out there. So why can't we get this working? Why can't it work for all age groups? The great thing is there are a lot of websites and online dating sites now for older, older groups so you can fit into that category. The trouble is everybody complains about the choices and what's not out there, what they're looking for. The thing that I tell all my clients is all you need is one person that comes in and fits into your world and you fit into their world. But it's not easy to meet that one person. Just like it's not easy to go and get the career of your dreams. There's energy and effort put into all of this. The trick is to be who you are as great as you can be all the time. You never know when you're going to meet somebody. Don't take offense to it if somebody online doesn't get back to you. Next, move on. It's just not as easy as everybody thinks to meet that person that is your special, special someone. But we give up so fast. And I understand, believe me, I was single. I was a single mom. I know what it's like to, to be single at a later stage in your life. It's not easy. But when you do meet somebody, the chances are it's going to be really great because you've been through similar things. You know what you want. There's none of this gray area. You're ready. You're, you know exactly what it is you're looking for. So yeah, it's going to be a little harder. It really is. Don't set yourself up that you're just online. Make sure that when you're out, no matter where you go, even right now, just say hi, look at people, communicate, talk to everybody that you're able to, and just keep yourself in a, in a good place peace of mind because if you start getting upset and thinking nobody wants you that you you're not worthy of love and and you're never going to find it it's going to get stuck in your in your head that way and you don't want that there's love at for everybody at every age i got married for the second time at 50 it's out there it took me a while I'm not saying it was overnight. It took me quite a few years to meet somebody that was a good match. I understand and I empathize with anybody right now that are getting a little bit older and looking to meet that special person because it is a little more difficult. I could suggest maybe trying a matchmaking service. Really look into it because there are some that are much better than others. And it might be at that stage where you want somebody to do the work for you. That's a possibility. But don't give up. All it takes is one person. It really, truly does. And I know you feel invisible. And for all of you people out there right now that are younger than this, you're going to get there eventually. So it's really good to pay attention to all these kind of things and also to be kind to everybody you come in contact with because you don't want to ever feel invisible. You don't want to walk down the street and feel like people aren't even going to say hi to you or look at you anymore. And that's a big problem with when you hit your 40s, 50s, 60s, when you're online dating, you really do feel that and it can be very depressing. But don't let it be depressing. Look at every day that somebody looks or somebody smiles as, cool, I'm getting closer. Put out really good thoughts about that you do deserve it, that you're worthy of it, and that it's going to happen and throw the negative thoughts away. I know you feel invisible, Erin. Oh my God, I feel invisible sometimes too. And I'm not looking for anybody, but I feel invisible just sometimes being online as a YouTube channel, as a host on YouTube. I can be tough too. But the trick is put your head up, 
stay positive and know that you have a lot to offer and there's somebody coming along. Just keep believing. Don't feel invisible. And if you do, change up where you're putting yourself. If you're feeling that maybe one website is a little bit too young or maybe that there's just not the kind of caliber of people that maybe you're looking for on there, change it up. Change it up all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. But don't give up. It does happen. And nowadays people are single a lot longer and they wait for the perfect person to come into their life. So thanks so much for listening to Cyber Sue today. And thank you for your question, Erin. Please keep your questions coming and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.